Hey everyone, it's Samantha and today I want to talk about my planner a little bit and cover my favorite pins that I've liked so far this year and also some of the pins that I just got from Jet Pins and kind of review those pins. I love anything to do with planners and if you've watched some of my other planner videos on my other channel, I'll link that down below, show you the other planner videos, um, you'll know I had an ARC planner. Then I thought I was going to go with Filofax, and I ended up just using this cheap one that I got from Walgreens Photo Center. It's just one of those things you can order online. It's got like the weeks on two pages, and it's a coil-bound book, which for me, I found that I really need that spiral or coil-bound book, because I like to flip it open and just leave it open to whatever page I'm on, or if I want to leave it open to my calendar page, I can do that. And it's just super duper easy. I really need that flipping function, and I don't want to have to just leave my layout spread out like this all of the time. So I found that was really important, so I went with a different planner for 2015, and I'll talk all about that coming up. I plan on doing a lot of like productivity and keep yourself organized type of videos. And also a little bit of planner decorating videos as well. I like to keep my planner pretty simple, but there are things that I like to use. And that brings us to today's real topic, which is pens. I love using different types of pens. First, I want to show you my absolute favorite pens that I've found so far this year. And my first one is a long-standing favorite are these Bic For Her pens. These are pretty reasonably priced. And what I like about it is they come in the pack of two and you get a pink ink one and a purple ink one. And you don't have to buy a big multi-pack just to get the pink pen. I always want the pink pen. Uh, and I also enjoy the purple too. So getting just the pack of the pink and purple together is really important to me. You have to be careful because there is also a pack that is these two colored pens on the outside, but they actually have black ink. So be sure to check. The colored ink ones have these white grippers, whereas the black ink ones have a colored gripper that matches the pen barrel. So this whole part would be purple and this whole part would be pink if the ink was actually black on the inside. But just read the package and make sure. I just really like how these ones write. They write super smooth and this one I've really just worn out. I ripped the clip off eventually. It just came off because I use this one so much. I just love this one. They're really, really smooth and I'm holding it upside down. <laughs> Sorry. So there's the little logo thing, but I just absolutely love these. I've gone through three or four packs of these over the last couple years and I absolutely love them. Those are definitely one of my absolute favorites. And then I decided I want more colors. I've done a couple of videos talking about these pens. These are the Uni Style Fit Multi Pens. And the cool thing about these multi pens is you pick out your own inks. So like this one has a bunch of different colors in it. I picked each one of these refills for it. The pen itself comes empty and you stick in your inks. Like this blue one is completely out. Same with this orange one. I just use these things up. And so you just pick out your own colors and it's a customizable multi-pen. So I really, really liked that. I'll link to my pen videos below. And when I first got this one, I got the mechanical pencil insert for it. You can get one that holds the lead for a mechanical pencil. And this one doesn't have an eraser on the end. So I was without an eraser. I had to have a, an eraser with me separately. And that was really annoying. But then I saw on jetpens.com they have some of these that have the erasers in the end. So I really, really like this pen. I keep this pink pen with me all the time. Just clip to my planner just like that and just leave it with me at all times. So I love this pen. I have the mechanical pencil insert in here with this one. So I got two of these pens that are five multi-pens. So the fifth pen is actually the clip. Same with this one. Oops, I can't get it to clip there. So that's actually one of the pens. And then it has four other chambers. The only downside to this pen, which I haven't really found that's been a big problem, is these pieces aren't colored. Where some of the other multi-pens that you can customize, the little tab pieces are colored the same part as your ink barrel, so you know what color it is when you press the thing down. Well, these pens instead are clear at the front part so you can tell which pen <laughs> you're clipping down. It's just second nature to me now to just look in the barrel part when I'm clipping the pen to make sure I get a color that I want. So between these two pens I could have 10 colors or 9 colors and a mechanical pencil, which is what I have now, which I really, really like. So those ones are 
definitely among my absolute favorites. Another pin set that I like are these Tri Plus Fine Liner pins. And these are labeled as porous point pins or felt tip pins kind of thing. And they are really nice. The colors are super saturated. They do write more like a felt tip pen versus a ballpoint pen or a gel pen. Um, and I really like these. The cool thing about these is if you leave the cap off for a couple of days, they don't dry out. So I'm always pretty good about keeping my caps on, but sometimes, you know, you don't tighten it enough or whatever. And what's also cool about this set is a little case turns into a little stand thing. So you can leave your pens like that. So the there's two downsides to this particular pen. One downside is the thickest the ink is is the 0.3 millimeters, and I happen to like 0.5 or 0.7 millimeter um, points, so they are a little bit thin for my personal preference, but some people that wouldn't be a downside. And the other downside is since the colors are super saturated, you can get bleeding happening on the back side. So I'm just gonna use this really quick. This is some thin paper. It doesn't seem to bleed through that much if you're going just super fast, but if you're trying to be careful, slow about something, like you mess up and you want to go over something else again, it does start to get more saturated and you do get some sort of bleeding through the back a little bit. So that can be annoying if your planner is made out of super thin paper, like Filofax paper can be super thin, so these might not be the best pens for that particular system. But I happen to love them. I love the colors, even in this just tin pack. I'm pretty sure they also have like a 24 pack or some other huge pack. I really like this pack. I use these a lot. And then if I'm trying to write on any sort of glossy service or washi tape, like these thin washi tapes here, I use a slick writer. This is made by American Crafts, and these are actually sold in major scrapbook stores. You can find them online at scrapbook stores, and I've also seen these on Amazon.com. Some people have said they couldn't find them in their local craft stores, but I've been able to find them in most of the craft stores around my town. So definitely look for those if you want to write on washi tape and not get anything smeared. And they're really nice and they're low odor. They don't smell as bad as Sharpie markers or anything, so I really like that. And here's some cheaper options that I don't like quite as much, but I still use, are two of these other multi-pen. These ones already have the colors in them, so you can't customize these or anything, but here's one from Bic. I think this one came in a two or a three pack. This one's got pretty nice colors. It's got pink, purple, lime green, and a light blue. So that's a nice little multi-pen. And they were pretty cheap too. I do like the way this one writes. The only downside is I think the green is really, really light. So if you're trying to stick to four colors, this is like that really light green that's hard to see sometimes. But the other three, I really, really like on here. So I do use that one from time to time. And the last option, I picked this one up at the Target dollar spot. And this one has a lot of different colors. Six colors in this one that was just $1. I found these ones don't write quite as smoothly, just a little bit more scratchy on the paper, not, not as smooth. So also another really cheap, good option if you want lots of colors and you don't want to pay very much. One of my most recent finds is this Pilot Friction Pen, and this is an erasable pen, and it's not like the old school erasable pens where if you just touch the ink, it just smears all over the place and rubs off. This one erases by heat friction, so it's got this little piece on the end that works kind of like your eraser. So if you write with it, let's see, write with it. And I like this one. There's retractable ones like this one where it retracts with the little clip part. Um, and there's also ones that have lids, so you can get either kind. And then they just erase with friction, so it just heats up the ink enough that it erases. The plus side I found to these pens is they write really, really smoothly. They're really nice colors, and they erase really easily. And the downside, which I haven't encountered yet, but the downside is if you heat up anything that you've written, like if, let's say you have your planner and you leave it in a hot car in the middle of summer, your ink will disappear. <laughs> I've heard that happens to people. Um, so you've got to be careful not to leave your planner in direct heat. Um, but if that does happen, you can stick it in the freezer and all of the ink comes back. So that can be a problem if you need your planner left in your car for some reason and it gets too hot, you can have some issues. So um, just keep that in mind to make sure you keep it in a, like a normal range of temperature, not get it extremely hot or extremely cold. 
has the ink will come back or disappear depending on if you get it too hot or too cold. So I had one of these pink ones. I loved it and I lost it. I don't know what I did with it. I've got major pregnancy brain and I just misplaced it somewhere. So that led me to need to order more pens. So I went on to Jet Pens and now I have quite a few pens to show you. I got three different kinds of pens. So I replaced my pink friction pen. I also got the light blue and the orange. These are all just the retractable. I think these ones cost $3.80, something around there. They're pretty pricey, but again, it's erasable, so it's a really nice uh, alternative to using a pencil. So here I went ahead and made a color swatch. So there's the light blue, the orange, and the pink. I like all the colors. I think they're nice and bright. If you look closely, I don't know how good it's going to show you. Let's zoom in. If you look super closely, you will see like the ink's not completely smooth on the lines. You can see because it's a ball style pen, the inside each line is a little tiny bit lighter and I'm not sure the camera is picking up on that that great. All right, so you can see it there. Like you can see my streakiness of the pen going through each line. I don't know if that matters to anybody. It really doesn't matter to me. I still love the pens, but you do get that like streaky line between it where the ball part of it is. Another thing to note about these pens is generally like the barcode and stuff is on a sticker. Well, with these pens, it's actually on the pen. So you can't take this off. I got the 0.7 millimeter because that's actually my favorite size of pen. And I really like the 0.7s. So I got three of those. Showed you the colors of those. And then the next one I'm going to be trying out is this Sarasa pen by Zebra, and it's a clip pen, which that means the clip part opens like that. That's really cool. It makes it super easy to clip it to something wherever you want your pen, so I really like that clip style. These ones are gel ink. They're 0.7 millimeter and they do have all the barcoded information on the sticker but it does not say the color on here but the sticker actually came off really easily I just pulled it right off when you first get it the tips protected by that little pink piece on the end you can just rip that right off and then the pen is ready to go so this is actually the magenta pink so I'm gonna write it here for you the pen writes super duper smooth it's just like any other gel ink pen it's really nice and smooth I always like the zebra gel pens so I got the blue-green here and then the magenta pink. I'll zoom in for that and check those out. Just really nice colors. The blue-green is a nice bright aqua color, which I thought was beautiful. So I know I'll get lots of use out of those pens. And I had an oopsie. I ordered two of the same pens. These are the Pilot Juice pens, 0.7 millimeter. And again, they're that clip style pen, which I think is so cool. I love that. So I got the turquoise green which you can see there, the grape, which is there, and then two of the browns on accident, but I'm sure I'll use them. Again, the barcode and stuff is on the sticker, but these ones actually have the name on it. So if you want to leave the sticker on just so you have the name, you can. I just, I like them off. I don't like all that stuff on my pen. So it was easy to take off. I just took it off the grape one. And just like the other pens, these ones have a little thing protecting the tip. So your pens don't leak in shipment or anything. So I'm going to write brown on here. I think these ones write pretty smoothly as well. I'm going to zoom in and I'll show you. And again, these are gel ink, so they write nice and smoothly. And I really like the colors of these. These ones come in a bunch of colors, and I'm pretty sure they come in other points as well. Same with these Sarasa ones. I think they come in various points. So that was a lot of pen talk. I hope that helped you guys narrow down your pen selections. I happen to just absolutely love pens, so I really like getting new pens to try out and having lots of colors of pens. That's one of my favorite things to do in my planner is to just have like a rainbow assortment of colors. So I hope this gives you some ideas on what pens um, you might prefer if you're new to looking at different kinds of pens. And exploring. Like I said, most of these came from jet pens, and then a couple of these I picked up locally. So I will link to all of my other planner videos down below for you guys. If you want to check those out, I was putting those on my scrapbook channel, 
but I think I'm going to start putting those on this channel unless they're like decorating, crafty related type of things. Like if I'm decorating the pages, I probably will put those on my other channel. But anything just like review or like productivity related, I will put those on this channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please give it a thumbs up if you like planner type videos. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Bye.